Hi, this is John from PortableFreewareGames.com and I'm here to show you a game on the website. So if you go to your browser, and you type in PortableFreewareGames.com I'm going to choose the games option and scroll down to the bottom of that page choose page 23 and scroll down that page to get to the sixth, sixth option, the sixth game. This is here, Red Eclipse 2.0. I want you to click on that wee image. And that'll take you to the download page where you've got a video for the game, you've got a brief description of the game, and you've got a download button for the game. Let's download this. Save. And this is the file you'll download. Red Eclipse 2.0.rar. It's a .rar file, that means it's a compressed archive and you need a specific software to open it up. Uh, WinZip and WinRAR are the two most commonly used softwares to open up these kinds of files. But 7-Zip is a freeware alternative that I can recommend. Uh, but I don't have to bother with that because I've got WinRAR. So let's open this up. Extract here. And this is the file that comes out of Red Eclipse 2.0 RAR. It's Red Eclipse 2.0 and it's a folder. So let's open this folder up. And look inside, you've got these four files. Uh, people that usually use my website will know that I usually package games into a single EXE uh, that doesn't need to be installed to run. Uh, this also doesn't need to be installed to run, uh, but it's not a single EXE. The reason for that is that this game, there's a lot of updates and add-ons you can get for this game. And if you, if you package this game into a single EXE, you can't update it. You can't add custom maps or custom weapons or any of these kinds of things that you can download in the game. Uh, so I've packaged this one a wee bit more differently uh, into these four files. Uh, now basically you've got three options uh, what to do with this game. Uh, you can just keep it with it wherever you download it to, if it's your desktop or whatever, and click auto run or double click auto run for it to run the program. Uh, which, which I'm not going to do. You can also put it on a flash drive and play it and run it off a flash drive if you want, what, I, what I'm not going to do. Or the third option, what, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to drag this folder down to my documents, then go into my documents, open up the folder, Red Eclipse 2.0, and then right click on the auto run. And create shortcut and I'm going to drag that, that shortcut onto the desktop, close that down and I'm going to rename this auto run shortcut to red eclipse 2.0 and that's a, that's a game ready to run and once you've got that shortcut copied to your desktop, you can just run the application like any other freeware game available from portablefreewaregames.com. Let's run this. And here you get the, the, the same menu you get with every game on portablefreewaregames.com. It opens out in this nice menu here where you've got the name of the website, presents, the name of the game, and you've got four buttons. You've got a PISA button, you've got a README button, you've got a free VPN button, and you've got a game button. Now starting from the top left, the PISA button is a paid internet survey app and it's basically a miniature mobile website that showcases the 26 best paid survey websites on the internet. Basically websites you sign into, you answer a few questions and you get paid. It's a great wee thing, all you really need is an email address and some free time and you can start earning money from the internet. And that's PISA. Underneath PISA we've got Readme. Uh, that's just basic Readme documents for this, uh, this game. Uh, instructions for the game, uh, description of the game, and copyright owners for the game, stuff like that. I'm going to switch over to the right hand side. You've got free VPN. Now, anybody that spends a lot of time on the internet should really think about getting a VPN, a virtual private network, because hackers, government agencies, 
and even your internet service provider are constantly trying to spy on your activity, uh, what you're looking at, what you're downloading, and where you're going. And a VPN would put a stop to that. This particular VPN that I recommend uh, gives you two gigabytes a month free. Uh, which, if you're just watching YouTube videos and very little else, two month, two gigabyte a month would be okay. It'd be about enough. If you want more than two gigabytes a month, you need to pay for it. But it's very reasonably priced, and that's free VPN. And underneath that, we've got the game to play the game. Let's play this game. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is turn off the sound uh, so you can hear what I'm saying. And this is the startup screen for uh, uh, Red Eclipse 2.0. Uh, it's, it's a first person shooter, sci fi shooter. Uh, it's a lot like a lot of other games. It looks a bit like Hey Halo. It looks a lot like another game one that I've got on my website called Zonatic. Uh, and it says good and it's free. Uh, so let's just go through this a wee bit. The first first option you've got here is pro Profile Setup. If you click that, uh, it'll give you uh, a basic setup for your, for your character. Starting with your name. By default, it's set to player one. I'm just going to change that to John. Uh, you can you know, be male or female. I choose to be male. You can choose the colour of your guy. Uh, you can choose red, green, yellow, blue, whatever. And loadout is your, 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 your primary weapons. Uh, for your first choice, for me, it would have to be the submachine gun. So I'll click that. And the second choice would be the, the plasma inductor. Uh, sorry, a plasma pistol. And that's your two main weapons. You can get a lot more than two weapons. You can carry around six or seven weapons. But these are, these are two weapons that you use by default. The SMG, the small machine gun, will be your first choice. And the plasma pistol will be the second. Uh, uh, there, is, there is more settings that you can adjust. If you've got any vanity items up here, you can change just about every part of your character, your avatar, uh, your eyes, your chest, your scalp, your forehead, your right foot, your left foot. Uh, I won't bother with any of that. But like I said, you can if you, if you want to get right into this, you can do that. So that's me got my, my, my profile settings sorted out. Click OK. Practice match. Uh, now, as you can see, it's got multiplayer servers uh, online against other players from wherever in the world, for, for just about anywhere. And I would strongly recommend that you've got to practice match first uh, to get to, to get your skills up to, up to scratch. Because if you just go straight into the multiplayer servers, you're going to be playing against guys that are right into this game, are really very into this game, and you're just going to get slaughtered. So what you want to do is you want to click practice match. And they've got a choice of different game types here. FFA, Free For All, Deathmatch, Survivor, Duel, Deathmatch, Capture, Capture the Flag, Bomber. Uh, I'm going to choose Deathmatch. You can choose the maps over here. Your choice to watch six or seven maps. I'll just choose the first one. You click on Oster. And then start game. And this is a game I'm about to start up. It's just loading up. It won't take a second or two. And as you can see from the graphics, they're actually quite good, especially for a for a freeware game. And I would compare this game to, to Halo, maybe the first two Halo games, and also another game on my website called Zonatic, spelt with an X. Uh, so here we go. Uh, Deathmatch is basically team deathmatch. It's red against blue. If you look up at the top right hand corner, you can see that I'm alpha, I'm blue. And there's some red guys down there. I don't know where the other blue guy is. That's me killed already. Here we go. Now I'm using the, the small machine gun. Uh, which is my favourite weapon in this game. Uh, there, are, there are issues with it. And the issues are 
it uh, recoils every time you fire it. Uh, it actually kicks up and uh, knocks your sights off. You're aiming off. You need to aim a wee bit lower. There we go. Oh, guy. And as you can see in the top right hand corner, the practice matches are, are timed. Uh, you get 10 minutes for a practice match. Uh, and I think after three or four of these practice matches, you're probably good enough to go into the multiplayer servers and play against other players around the world. And there's usually about a half a dozen uh, servers up and running at any given time. And there's people on it. So we just killed another guy. And you can see down the bottom left hand corner, my life force is at 27 right now, 27%. Red guys are, are slippery wee guys to, to kill. Now obviously uh, this is the AI bots you're playing against. Not killed again. Killed one guy but got killed off the other. What I'll do is I'll just play all the way through this this uh, practice match to show you how it works. And after that, I'll leave you to get on with it. You should have a good idea what the game's all about. Oh, hold again. I've got the sound switched off right now. So you can just hear my voice and nothing else. Uh, but it's got quite a cool wee soundtrack, this game. It's sort of a track techno trance uh, vibe. And I quite like it. Hold again. Who am I? Blue, I'm, I'm at 30. I'm actually leading right now. I've got a high score so far. Get three points for a kill. I think the secret to this game is to keep moving. Um, a moving target is harder to hit, harder to kill. That also makes your aiming a wee bit more difficult. Killed. I killed one guy but got killed with the other. That's me at 40 now. 40 points. again. Hold again. Hold again. As you can see, when you respawn, um, you respawn at different areas all the time. It's not the same place. Uh, I like this game. I think it's a great wee game. It's freeware and it's open source. So you got a lot of people working on it. Uh, a lot of people from around the world, developers, adding content to it all the time. Like I say, that's why I... That's why I packaged it a wee bit differently from what I usually do. 
Uh, so you can download those updates and those can uh, set this uh, extra content. Again, killed one guy, but we killed off the other. I'm at 54 now, I'm still leading. And here we go. Another thing to watch out for uh, when you're playing these uh, practice matches is uh, friendly fire. Uh, you can accidentally kill your, 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 your teammate. Your teammate can accidentally kill you. You can see down the bottom left hand corner, that's my life force, is at 55. Uh, if you stay out of trouble, you stay out of action. Uh, it will replenish itself up to a hundred. Dead. Still winning now, 57. Two points ahead on my nearest rival. Dead again. Same story again. Killed by one guy, but got killed off the other. That was down to the last two minutes to play. Now these practice rounds are, are really handy. Uh, like I said, if you just go into the uh, multi online multiplayer servers, you're just going to get slaughtered. Simple as that. Hone your skills, sharpen your skills, uh, and the practice matches before you go into the, the multiplayer servers. One minute thirty left. No, I'm, I'm, I'm second now, I've got 60 points. One of the red guys has got 61. I'm not quite, I'm not winning anymore. This is less than a minute to go. seconds to go. I think it's a great wee game. Uh, definitely worth the downloading and for keeping on your, your computer. Uh, like I said, it's packaged a wee bit different from the usual games I usually play. But the games I usually uh, have on my website don't get updates and content, custom content downloads. 69 points to 67. This is about the last five seconds. One. That's the game I won. If you have a look at the multiplayer settings, uh, multiplayer servers, you can have a wee quick look at it, see what the state of play is. As you can see, there's about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, 10, 11, 11 servers, um, 11 multiplayer servers available at any given time. 
Um, this one here, East Asia Free Server. You can join that. As you can tell here, it's only got two players, two to 17 players playing it right now. Um, so there's always something up to There's always a server up and running. For you, for you to get involved in. And I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't think you need to learn anything more. Uh, like I say, set up your wee man, your wee avatar, go into the practice matches and have a lot of fun and get better at the game before you go into the multiplayer servers. And that's about it. So I hope you download this game. I hope you enjoy this game. I hope you have a lot of fun playing this game. And I hope you subscribe. Thanks for watching.